Hey everyone, I wanted to bring up another discussion topic when it comes to Monster Hunter Rise. If you've been watching my channel for a couple of months, you already know that I've done a couple of these discussion videos already where I essentially ask a couple of questions and I want to hear your guys' feedback. So out of the gate, I do encourage you to please leave some comments. Let me know what you guys think. I want to hear some feedback because, again, you don't necessarily have a discussion unless you're getting other people's perspective. So in this discussion, I do want to bring up the Rampage. That's the thing that I basically want to discuss. And this stems from a video that I made a couple of days ago when I made a casual comment talking about the Rampage and how it was kind of like not necessarily all that popular nowadays. And I'm not necessarily sure where it landed where people when the game originally came out, were people actually reflective to it? Did they enjoy it? Did they have a good time? And that was actually brought up because there was a recent event quest with an Almadron, I believe, in the Rampage, where you could go ahead and fight an Almadron and basically go back and do Rampage. This was the very first Rampage quest event that we got in Monster Hunter Rise, funny enough, four months after launch, that involved a Rampage. And I found this as a bit of a turning point to essentially like have a discussion about the Rampage. Like, did people actually enjoy it when it come out? Did people have fun with it? Because I know for a fact that if we try to do Rampage events now, there's a lot of less people being able to do them or willing to do them because you essentially get caught up in that queue situation where like the game just simply kicks you back out to start the quest again because there's just nobody either joining or the game just doesn't have a lot of people looking to do Rampage events. And that's probably stems from the fact that all of the apex monsters that were once tied to the rampage you needed to do the rampage to be able to do the apexes since they became normal quest and people were just able to just tackle them outside of the rampage they must rather just hunt them in a normal typical quest scenario instead of being forced to do 15 to 20 minutes of a rampage that isn't necessarily all that rewarding for them so first and foremost with all that table setting out of the way i do want to know if you guys actually enjoyed doing the rampages whenever you actually did them whether it was when the game came out while you were still playing it or if you actually just go back and forth if you casually are still playing do you randomly do a rampage quest once in a while just to like kind of have that feel of going back to it because i know the tickets aren't necessarily all that worth it they're just tied specifically to just rampage rewards and once you get like the layered weapon that you get there's no real incentive to actually keep going back they are valuable in the sense of like if you do want to keep getting charms because they do hold a rather high value when it comes to melding options they are like tradable for i believe 75 to 60 to 50 points so they do have some value in that regard but other than that they really don't serve much of a purpose so doing rampage specifically for tickets is not necessarily all that rewarding and the items that you actually get you're just better off hunting the monsters directly in the typical quest situation instead of just having to wait for the specific apex one so then it falls back to that situation of like have they necessarily stopped serving a purpose the second that apex monsters became available in just typical quest and are you still actually going back and being able to use them or are you finding any sort of fun in that because in my perspective the only real issue that i always had with rampages was that it just took so long they took like 15 to 20 minutes to actually get them done whether they were like a two-step or a three-step rampage they still took a long time to be able to complete and i wasn't necessarily having that great of a time because i know you guys saw a couple of my videos a while back when i was still capturing gameplay and like putting it up uh, i was just kind of like getting into the siege weapons and just focusing on that because it was the easiest thing to do and I think a lot of people just kind of laser focus and just getting it the easiest and the fastest way done. And you're not necessarily interacting with the way that the game actually wants you to handle the rampage. You know, whenever the horn blows and then they're like, hey, go attack the monsters normally. It's like, why would I want to do that when the actual siege weapons are doing just almost as good enough damage? I know that the weapons do way more damage, but it's like, this isn't much of a challenge to begin with. So why waste that time? just like moving around and doing any of that when I could just focus on the siege weapons. And it just comes across feeling lazy and I acknowledge that completely. But at the end of the day, it was like because it was just so easy. There was never really any sort of a challenge to the Rampage themselves. And that's probably one of the real issues that it had naturally built into it, that it was just never challenging. It just felt like just take care of these monsters, take them down and then just move on to the next one. Even the last monster that was essentially like the toughest one, the Apex, that you would end up fighting most of the time if you were doing specifically the Apex ones. I do remember specifically the Apex Sonogre one being like 
probably one of the more challenging ones but even then like when you put it within context of like just a normal hunt not even remotely close because again you can still abuse the siege weapons and just not necessarily focus too much on dying again you also don't get punished for dying so it was just one of those situations where like there was no real incentive to actually try very hard because the rampages weren't just built in for any of that then it falls back to like actual rewards and again because the layered weapon that you're only getting from the rampages was just that thing nothing necessarily else no actual armor or anything like valuable i don't think people had incentives to keep going back once they were like not necessarily forced to actually have to go back and do those things so like i think capcom missed an opportunity in that regard to like keep people coming back this is why i do think that like the rampage event quests are interesting because they are giving you that layered armor those stickers whatever it might be whether they're valuable to you or not that's not really the point the fact of the matter is they are giving you an incentive to hey go do this event quest go do this rampage quest with the added incentive of like this is a once in a time reward that you're going to be able to want to get if you want to like i don't know complete the game 100 percent or whatever the situation may be so in that regard i do think there's a chance for them to take advantage of that and actually get people back into rampages but i don't necessarily know if people are still finding them fun to do just for the sake of doing them like for me personally i've done that quest with the three apexes back to back in the springs like almost a dozen times not necessarily because i'm looking for rewards or anything but just because i like that quest i like that area it's the only place you can actually do that quest i made a video about that separately when they introduced the 3.0 update so it was like one of those things where like i'm having a good time just doing this event quest this interesting quest and this is about the only way to be able to do it and i find enough of a challenge there to just actually want to go back and do it a couple of more times Whereas like I don't necessarily know if that's there with the rampages and I'm not necessarily sure what's missing. Like what are people looking for to be able to make rampages more endearing or more worthwhile? Is it the rewards? Is it the challenge? Is it just the lack of monster variety? I'm not necessarily sure what that could be. Or maybe it's just the actual layout themselves. The fact that the siege weapons and the layout of the actual maps is just kind of like confront. Like there's just like three or four different layouts and they're no real changes around it so maybe that's just something that people kind of got tired of seeing so i'm not necessarily sure that's why i wanted to bring up this discussion video because when i talked about it last time there were a couple of interesting replies when it came to the rampages and whether actually people were having fun doing them or were they still doing them at all period so i do want to hear your guys takes on this i do want to hear some feedback this is why i do these discussion videos i'm not necessarily all that big into like I'm going to break down all these things, mathematically speaking, and get you guys the highest DPS. I think there's other better content creators for that. But I do think like conversations around the game itself have soured. And I'm not a big fan of that. I do love Monster Hunter Rise. It's one of my favorite games on Nintendo Switch. And I do feel a little bit sad that the conversation has been soured completely on this game. A lot of people are actually going back and playing like Monster Hunter Generations Ultimate on Switch or whatever just because they're like burned out on Rise or like they're upset that Capcom isn't supporting it. And I completely understand that. I'm not against that or anything, but it's just like I do wish there was more actual positivity around the community. And I'm just hopefully trying to bring some actual discussion and see like maybe if Capcom one day decides to notice me and it's like, hey, maybe we're having an actual conversation about what can be done to fix the issues that the game currently has but that's going to be it for this video hopefully you guys do leave a comment and let me know what you guys think if you're brand new to my channel be sure to leave a like and subscribe hit the bell to receive notifications when the videos go up and as always thank you so much for watching see ya